Hey, hey, good day everyone, and uh, today I'm going to take you through uh, the power of the sourcing wizard at wholesale level. So I'm going to crack on with it right away, and uh, I've got three sheets here ready on this particular supplier that I want to upload into the sourcing wizard. One is on the health and beauty category, one is on the baby category, and the other one is on the toys category in view of uh, the quarter four sales and obviously a lot of uh, uh, toys will be sold during quarter four. So I'm, I'm currently on, uh, on my back office of um, Ecom Solutions and uh, I'm gonna go and hover over the sourcing wizard where I'm gonna select wholesale wizard. So before um, you can do anything with a sourcing wizard at wholesale level, you have to add uh, the new supplier, the, the wholesaler, which in this case I've already added um, and only when you have added the wholesaler, you will be able to then manually import the file into the wizard. So these are the um, informations that uh, you are required to fill in, you know, to, to add uh, a new wholesale supplier. Very straightforward, you know, I don't think I need to explain any of these boxes what they entitle. Once you have finished, you will cl click sell, uh, save changes and you will be good to go. So uh, this particular supplier is already been registered, so I'm going to um, select it here and I'm going to import uh, uh, some of these sheets. So one important thing that you do, so we're going to start with the health and beauty category and you need to know what your uh, columns headers have uh, uh, got in there. So uh, first thing you do is make sure that you are mapping the correct information uh, when you are importing the file into the wizard. So first of all, let's select this, the sheet, which it's called health and beauty. I'm going to select the Excel file in this case because I modified a few things and click that uh, arrow on, on the right hand side, which is going to take you on the next screen. So here you need to make sure that you're mapping out things according to your spreadsheet. So a few things that you need to uh, understand as well is if your wholesaler is a, a dropship wholesaler or an FBA. So in this case, I, I will be purchasing from this wholesaler uh, at FBA level. So I, I'm, not really, um, uh, I'm not really interested in what the shipping charges are because I'm going to be sending a bulk order to my packers. So the things that are essential are the SKU, UPC number or ASIN if you've got it. Uh, not all that, actually, you will never get an ASIN from the wholesaler, but you will definitely uh, get a UPC code. So as a SKU, uh, as an as a, as a, um, identifier number, I will select what in my uh, spreadsheet says item number. So in here, I will choose item number. All right. As a UPC, I've got a column that as titled as UPC number, which will be populating here. And I can, as I said, I haven't got an async, so I can move to the next page. Product title will be title. Detailed description. Uh, bear in mind that uh, the sourcing wizard will pull the information just from the UPC code. So it is not imperative that you fill all the information that is asking you to fill. Also, because you might not have them. Uh, but it's good to know what information you can put into the wizard so that when you contact your wholesalers, you can ask to give you the right information. So the detailed description in this case, I haven't got it. As you can see on the spreadsheet, we've only got the page URL for it and uh, just the uh, essential information that I will need for the wizard. So title, we've got it. I haven't got detailed information. Product image, I haven't got it. But the, the wizard will find it on Amazon, so don't worry about it. Uh, product cost. We are gonna be putting the. Um, uh, we're gonna be putting the. Let me see if it's the right. Buy, buy one four packs. Let me check what is saying in here. Buy one to four packs. Right. So this must be the option that this wholesaler is giving me. So as a product cost, I'm gonna be putting uh, buy one to four packs. All right. So that is the unit cost. Then we're gonna keep moving. Uh, shipping cost, as I mentioned, I will need it for this particular wholesaler because I will be purchasing in bulk but if you do have a shipping cost it will be on your spreadsheet when you're uploading and in this case you will select yes all right but in this case I don't need it so I'll, I'll leave it as no shipping cost would you like to map shipping cost column no because there isn't a column for shipping in there so I'll just keep moving forward shipping dimensions no 
per unit fee and go any and uh, available quantity I'm not particularly interested right now on how many they've got in stock and uh, pack quantity I could uh, um, select uh, if there was a, a quantity to buy in bulk, but in this case, it's just an option because I know this wholesaler. It's just an option that the wholesaler gives you. So it's got a set price whether you're buying one till four packs. So I'm going to leave that blank again. MSRP, we haven't got it. MAP, I haven't got it. Category is not essential. And we've got 664 records that I would like to uh, import. So I'm just going to click Start Import. And uh, they've been added successfully. So here is where the magic starts happening. But whilst uh, this particular file is still pending, I can uh, go ahead and I'm going to add another couple of sheets in there just to show you the, the power of the, of the wholesale wizard and how I will be able to find good deals. So next category I would like to add there is uh, the category of baby. So I'm going to get back into the sourcing wizard and again I'm going to choose the same wholesaler and I'm going to uh, import the baby category. So let's just do that. Let's select the baby uh, spreadsheet. All right, click open and then same things that we've done before. SKU, it will be um, item number and the UPC will be the UPC number. I think the columns in this particular sheet slightly change. Product title, I don't think we have got one. We're going to put field one. Why am I putting field one? Because if I open this, uh, the title is actually, we've not changed the field name, so <laughs> we left it as that. But the important thing is that you are mapping the, co the correct column with what uh, the wizard is asking you. So as product title, we've got in field one. And as you can see here, it's bringing up the right information. So let's keep going ahead. Product image, uh, I don't have one. I could put the URL, but um, I don't want to overcomplicate things. So I'm just going to keep going. Product cost, it's a unit price. And again, it's the same wholesaler, so not shipping costs. Keep going, not shipping dimensions, price per unit fee. Uh, pack quantity in here uh, we haven't got um, a multi-pack uh, option is about individual quantities with this wholesaler as long as you make a, a minimum order quantity of I think it's $250 so I'm gonna keep going keep going and keep going all right so another 275 records added uh, to the sourcing wizard at wholesale level so that added uh, to the 660 that we had before, we are already to more or less 1,000 products that I can search. So I'm going to start the import and I'm going to do exactly the same thing again with the next spreadsheet. I'll just give it a couple of seconds. And the next spreadsheet that I want to uh, upload is the one for the toys. Here we go. So I think I clicked it a few times and that might have gone through a few times. But it's not a problem. I can delete if I've made a uh, duplicate. So, as you can see, look, it's, uh, <laughs> it's added a few times. So, I want to add now the toys spreadsheet. So, I'm going to search for toys. It's not bringing anything up. And I think it's the four SGM toys. That's it. Let's open that one. Again, I can't remember how we mapped up the columns. So, I'm just going to double check. Title, item number, unit price, UP, UPC number. All right. So these are the three main essential informations that you need. So let's get back into uh, our sourcing wizard. We got the right spreadsheet. And we start going. So SKU, we're going to go for item number. UPC, guess what? It's UPC. <laughs> so we keep going. And the product title, we got it on the title. This time my guy has uh, chosen the right uh, title for that column. Item description, I haven't got one, no product image, product cost, it's the unit price, and I'll keep going again, it's the same wholesaler, so we're going to skip all the shipping costs and I mentioned things that we're going to get from Amazon anyway. All I am aiming at here is finding gold, and this is exactly what I'm going to, sh to be showing you in a couple of moments, so inventory level, I don't need it because I'll be sending it FBA, it would be up to me to keep the inventory levels in check so pack quantity we haven't got 
a quantity is a unit quantity that we've got in here. So I'm just going to leave it blank. Again, we haven't got MIP or MSR, uh, MSRP costs. So um, you can see what, what these all things mean by by looking up up, up there. So uh, the, the map. Uh, as the suggested retail price, basically, the MSRP. Uh, and the map is a value that is legally enforceable under the US anti-truth statutes, uh, statutes for, for all other advertised products. So we don't have all this information, but it's not a problem. We can just keep going and update all these 424 products. So whilst I've been recording this video, I have basically uh, been sourcing 1,500 products in 10 minutes. So what to do next i'm gonna go into view results and uh, we can see that these are uh, pending because i just uploaded them as you can see that it's gone to uh, three times it's gone up so i'm gonna delete files i'm just gonna leave one copy in the meantime uh, the first file that i uploaded is processing and although it's not completed yet i can already find uh, good products so i'm gonna go here now and uh, here is where the magic happens so um you can use different filters in here, like is Amazon a seller, yes or no. I usually prefer uh, to buy in bulk when Amazon is not a seller because uh, when you are buying F for FBA products, uh, uh, you are investing, you are, you are buying uh, inventory up front. So because there is an investment, I prefer to not be competing with Amazon so that I know that my goods will... Uh, get a higher percentage job by box if not 100 percent if i'm the only seller or if the other sellers are just drop shipping so um fba will get a higher percentage of buy box but if amazon is there i might not get the same percentage because amazon uh, will get more uh, as reviews i'm gonna leave it as all because it could be that an, um, a product has just been listed and might not have review yet and the sales rank I will filter the sales rank when I'm going to have an idea of what is the best seller percentage of this particular category, um, which I can find from a, a particular website that we use, which is called Amazon Category Helper. And you will go into the US version PDF and it will tell me where is uh, uh, my product's landing. If it's a top one, 3%, 5%, ideally for my FBA stuff, I like to get products within the top one two percent so right now i'm gonna leave that blank return on investment i like to make at least a five dollar return on investment on each product so now that i've got this couple of filters in place i'm going to click filter and i'm gonna go and check uh what products i could be possibly in uh, so as you can see here already wow we've got an fba return on investment of 2888 uh, uh, percent so uh, right away i'd like to uh, grab this and i'm gonna go and check for this particular products at the wholesaler too just to make sure that the products match i'm gonna find this product at the wholesaler and i'm gonna check it on amazon all right so the product let's have a look if it looks exactly the same aspirin inside and it looks you know to be honest with you guys it's very very rare that products do not match but i would advise you to always check though because you know you want to make to be absolutely certain so this is a case of 12 and in here we can see that the case pack that of this particular wholesaler is 72 sale price of each one it's 0.85 all right so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, searching, first of all, what is the ranking of this product and see when it's been listed from. So it's only been on Amazon 27 days, right? So that explains why there is uh, no ranking on these products yet. And I like to, uh, I'm, a, I'm a risk taker and uh, because uh, it could be a product that will sell a lot, I'd like, I'd, I'm going to go ahead and risk it. Although, Pictures uh, could be improved, the bullet point could be improved, uh, the, the title could be improved, and maybe I'd, I wouldn't take a massive risk on this one. So I'll, what I'm going to do on this one, because we haven't got any data yet, uh, although I could get um, a good uh, uh, return on investment, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clear it for now. 
and I'm going to go to products that, well, we can uh, actually look at products uh, just to show you the difference that have reviewed. So we might encounter products that have not just been listed. All right. So what I would like to do as well is uh, sort the F FBA product column from the highest to the lowest. So we can start working on things that give me more profit to the ones that give me less profit. So I'm going to start with this uh, Cecilio 500 inches ebony fitted solid wood viola and check that on uh, on Amazon. And let's have a look what is uh, um, the ranking is top 21%. I'm not too keen on so high ranked prod products. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and delete this particular one. And I guess that the reason why it's so high ranked is because, um, or low ranked, depending on which, which way you look at it, is because the price might be too high and, and it's not converting really well. Um, you know, even like an FBA return on investment is uh, 19,000 percent because the purchase cost of this particular product for me per quantity uh, will be 0 0.65. So I'm not entirely sure how this one is actually matching because sometimes people list products under the wrong UPC code. So we're just going to go uh, ahead and delete that one again. So the next product in line is going to make me profit of $75. I'm going to check this one on Amazon. And let's have a look at what um, my plugins will tell me. All right, so it's got uh, three and a half uh, reviews, which seems good enough. Let's have a look what the ranking says. All right, still everything seems loading up. I can't see the, the ranking populating in here yet. And what is Keeper telling me? This one as well is a relatively new product. It's been on Amazon only 71 days, uh, which is just over um, two and a half months. And it's been selling for $127. I mean, the listing could be really improved. I can see uh, very good bullet points or description. So I could be improving that. And um, I'll double check if it's the same product at my uh, wholesaler. So I'm going to search for it here. And let's have a look. So the product is uh, the same. Aquanet Extra Super Hold. Aquanet Extra Super Hold. And seems right. The quantity, if you get up to four, is uh, 285. And on this one, because, um, you know, this, I know for a, for, for a fact that these products sell. So I'm going to um, purchase a few of them. So I'm going to add it into Mission Control. And let's have a look. It's a bundle quantity, this one. It's a pack of nine. So um, I am going to, uh, so the, our unit price is 285 Amazon is selling it right now for 12785 I'm going to put that here. Handling time doesn't really matter to me because... I am going to be purchasing it as FBA. So my minimum price would be $33.02. And it's selling for $127.85. So I'm not going to undercut the price of this wholesale, of this seller, you know, so, um, so that we run to the bottom and nobody's going to make any, any profit. I'm just going to match their price, knowing that, I could really drive the market on this product because look how much space I've got to play here. From $33 up to $127, you know, I've got around $90 that I could be um, lowering this price for and still be making 15% return on investment. So I'm going to add this to Mission Control. All right, so we've got a product listed. Another one here is, sell, is telling me that I'm going to get $38.54. Uh, return on investment. I'm gonna just double check as usual that both they both match and the ranking on this. All right, it's got one review. It's ranking at top 40%. It's a little bit too high. And the reason why I've opened this, by the way, guys, is because sometimes you don't get the full story here. And if you go a ranking um, just here where, where it gives you the product details, then you can check that ranking. For example, if it's a home and kitchen product ranking at 2,650,000, I know that is with the, the top 3% of that category. But if I'm looking at the same uh, kind of number for uh, 
I don't know, a beauty category or a books category, I know that I'll be around the top 5%. Or if I am on the beauty category, I will be over the top 50%. So depending on the category, you know, you can't say that 500,000 is good or bad because it all depends on what category. So 500,000 would be a really, really good on the home and kitchen ranking, bestseller ranking, below the one top 1%. One but if you go on the health and personal care, then we would be just below the top 10%. So, you know, just bear this in mind and, you know, save this link, uh, you know, should you need uh, to, to check what kind of ranking uh, your product is. Or you can uh, go ahead and get this this application here it's called uh, Rev Seller, which I highly recommend because it gives you little bit of the insights of the product and, and it's a really good tool. So this product, we've already looked at this one and we were looking now at this one. And we said that it was really high. So I'm not gonna be listing that one. I'm going to uh, skip it. And I'm gonna go to the next one, which uh, this, the wizard is telling me that I'll have an FBA profit of $13.95 and an FBA return on investment of 520%. Wow. So I'm gonna check this product now, three stars, ranking on the top 22%. Again, that might be because of the price is too high. Let's have a look how much I'm paying for that. I'll be paying 260 and they're selling it at uh, 22.95. So that might be a reason why it's not ranking really well. You know, if you are too greedy, you might not get any sales, but it's not up to me to get sales on that because it's not my listing. So I'm just going to keep moving. Let's have a look at this one. So can you see how focused I am on just one page and I don't have to go up and down, up and down, search for things? Because it's all here. It could potentially be listing 100 products or more every single day and at all sale level. So as an inspector is telling me that I would sell one or two per month. However, I don't really trust all the data that these tools give you because they're just purely based on on the ranking of which this product is not too bad 331 then the next thing i like to look at is the competition see who's selling this product if there are other fba sellers if amazon is a seller which because i have sorted as no it won't be but this is just my criteria i'm checking what the competition does um i check i check the competition seller power as well to see if I can compete with these guys so I'm definitely able to compete with all of them no one of these is selling it FBA and their sales rank at one point actually went down to uh, 100 and actually 58,000 because they've had the sale this product has been on for just over a year and the ranking has been going up and down so right now the ranking is I like to look at it, this one, 831,000, which brings it to the top 3% of, of, the, um, of, the, of its ranking, which is slightly higher than what I am looking for. So I will, I will skip this one as well. All right, and let's have a look at the next one. All right, so this one is telling me that the net profit I'll get is 12.08 and a margin of 50%. Let's just double check both my uh, wholesaler and uh, the wizard. So let's find this product here. Give a couple of seconds to find this. So it's called Aquanet, ranking at 450%. So now that we know the, the ranking as well of this particular, we are on the beauty and personal care. We can actually look in here on the beauty category and we could potentially uh, put a top 3% into the sourcing wizard, which will save me time, right? So I'm gonna put 80,000 there and see if we got any products around this kind of ranking. So this will avoid me now to having to delete products that are just above my criteria. Anyway, we've got it here, and um, whilst we are in here, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a quick check. So, it's ranking just above my top two three percent. Uh, ideally, as I said, I prefer um, 
to be above, uh, you know, below 2%. We got seven new sellers, seven sellers. None of them is selling them uh, on FBA. So I would get a good bunch of the buy box on this particular products. I'll tell you what, I'm going to test the market because, oh, I've just changed the selection in here. So I won't be able to find it unless I get that again. So let's forget about this product and let's keep moving. So on this particular one, I make uh, two low profit and now I don't want that low profit. And probably we need to sort it again by FBA profit, higher to lowest. All right, so don't get, um, don't let this uh, put you off. It is only four dollars because that might sell, you know, multiple times in a day. So let, let's check, let's check what the ranking is, what the competition is. Top 0.08 percent. That is the highest we found so far. Definitely interested on that. All the alarm bells are ringing in my head. <laughs> and uh, uh, 76 items in the store. There is only three sellers here that are selling it. Let's have a look. Ninety-seven positive free buy, thirty-three seller rating, four thousand, seven seller ratings. This one list looks like quite new um, sellers. I'm very excited about this product. This could sell lot a lot of times every day. So just gonna copy and make sure that is the right product at the wholesaler. As you can see so far, we've had no products that didn't match. Let's have a look at this one. If it is the same, virgin air fertilizer, this one seems that is not the same product. So what I'm going to do, I am going to skip it. Sweepers. Let's have a look at this one. Ranking at 2.11. Still loading up. I've got so many so many plugins that it takes a while to uh, load everything. All right, all right. How many sellers on this particular product? Fulfilled by Amazon. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Six sellers selling it from five ninety one, and there are one, two, three, four people selling it as uh, FBA already and I think I should be able to compete with them too so let's have a look again if it's the right product and if I can make any sales out of it just give it a quick second to load It's taking more than a second to load. <laughs> Sometimes, especially when you're live shooting videos, it can take a little longer. There it is. All right, so let's have a look at the picture. And it seems like it's just a particular item in here. And here we got the Swiss pairs, 500 of them. Yeah, I can just uh, choose the color, I guess. All right, so pack of 24. There's a pack of 24, and this is just quantity one. They're selling them at 5.91, and I would get them at 0.89%. So definitely something to add to the wizard. And it's two of them. Add to mission control, Amazon price was a 591. 591. My minimum price would be to make a minimum of 15%, $1.15. Handling time, as I said, is FBA, so I'm gonna leave it as it is. Bundle quantity is actually one in here, so add that to mission control again. Keep going. So bear in mind, I've only been into one spreadsheet right now. I could keep going for hours in here, but I want to keep this uh, video short and uh, sweet. So it's gone already 30 minutes. And I wanted to just show you, though, um, that I still got uh, things to see in here to check up. And this one was processing. So I wonder if uh, more products have gone into it. 
say now we were at 200, now we got 655. So I would have to start the whole process again. But all, all, the point of this video was just to show you the power of it, the power of being able to just go into one place rather than be checking between multiple uh, suppliers or wholesalers. You go everything focused in here. You can, you can uh, filter it as you wish and uh, really narrow down thousands and thousands of products and minimize your time and focus in your money-making activity rather than be wasting time checking each product one by one. The wizard does that for you. So just to show you now, um, the other spreadsheets that we updated before, they will be either processing or completed. So I've, I've actually got another three to go through now. The toys, uh, yeah, I want to just uh, double check the toys because that gets me always excited. And um, look at the products that we could get now and make massive products. We just give a quick, uh, quick twirl to see. From the toys category, we are looking at, uh, um, you know, top two to three percent. So we are looking at less than 172,000. Let's do that. Let's have a, a quick search. 172,000. Amazon is a seller. I'm going to leave it as all and all on the has review. Um, return on investment. I like to make at least $5 profit per product. So I'm going to filter that and see what comes out with. So. Can you recognize these products? These are massive, massive brands, guys. This is so much opportunity to be making minions. Look at that. So I'm just going to, again, sort it out uh, from the top, uh, top, top uh, return on investment. Look at that. 50%, 48%, 9%, 27%, 32%. Uh, you know, sometimes you see that the return on investment is uh, $2.18. But if that sells, you know, 10, 20 days at times a day, uh, you're going to make quite a good, uh, good investment. And who says that you cannot raise the price as FBA? So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, um, this video. You can have access of uh, uh, Ecom Solution for 14 days for free. And all you've got to do is going into http double dot slash slash emanuelevinci.com slash Ecom Demo. So just uh, type this into your you, your uh, Google search box and you will be able to uh, sign up for a free trial of uh, free trial of uh, the sourcing wizard and uh, an ecom uh, for for the first 14 days where you will get a lot of support a lot of videos you can look into and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye bye